We are told that the only laws of nature are the ones that govern matter and energy. That thermodynamics are real and quantifiable, but that morality is a human construct. Karma can't be tested in a laboratory. It's a story we tell ourselves. Maybe the reason we tell stories at all. To make things make sense. But then, maybe at some quantum level, the stories are all true. Maybe one string upon which our universe vibrates is a string called justice. And if that is true, maybe we're all just dominoes, waiting our turn to fall. I got 10 minutes. No, no breadsticks, thank you. I'm gonna pay cash. And, you know, one more thing. This is a little odd, but do you know the girl that you sent last time? I think her name is, uh, Cassandra? Yeah, she's the one. Can you, can you, uh, send her? Yeah, I know it's... It's an odd request. Thank you. I know you wouldn't do that for anybody else. 20 minutes? Great. All right, like I said, cash. Okay, thank you, bye. Who is it? Just kidding, come on in. Jim, it's good to see you. We all missed you at the funeral, Marty. <sighs> yeah, well, I was grieving in my own special way. Yeah, this is for you. It's hot chocolate. I know how much you hate coffee. Very thoughtful, Jim. Well, thank you very much. Don't mention it. Shall we? Lay it on me. Marty, your father left you the Empire. Yeah, I 
saw that coming. I hated him. No. No, Jim, I didn't hate him. He hated me. So I just kept my distance. Well, this is interesting. What's that? Jim, it says here that in the event of my untimely demise, if I should fail to produce a male heir, then the keys of the kingdom shall be given to my father's closest confidant, which is you. Isn't that funny? You guys must have had a special relationship. No, we weren't especially intimate. I think your father was just trying to keep with the tradition. Recall how your father uh, came to power. Mm -hmm. He was consigliere to a childless don. He was the only one who knew how the business was really run, and therefore the only one fit to run it. Fit. I don't know why you're so excited about being next in line. Because if I were you, I wouldn't be so happy about it. Not excited, but not happy. This is just the way it is, Marty. The way it is, is dangerous. Do you know anything about assassins, Jim? Have you seen any? Assassins? Yeah, assassins. Because ever since Dad got sick, I have had people coming out of the woodwork trying to put me in a box. I wasn't aware of that. You don't know anything about that? I have one here right now. An assassin. Dead? Well, he's dead now. Would you like to meet him? He's in the tub, stewing. Uh, no, no, thank you, Marty. I don't want to look at the dead person in your bathtub. You know, Jim, I've never even seen you get your hands dirty. I'm starting to wonder if you even have the stomach that this job requires. Goodbye, Marty. Wait a second. What? Marty's dead. I'm your boss now. Just stop where you are. Hey, I... That was a close one, fellas. Cheers. You're a real fucking idiot, Jim. I remember my first hit. Poisoned hot chocolate? <laughs> ha! I knew you'd be a rat bastard, so I took some precautions. And as for you, I don't know who the fuck you are, but I'll send my Uncle Jack some flowers on your behalf. Tell you what, fellas, it gets real old real fast when you got dumbasses coming after you 24-7. My bathtub's already full of blood and bones. And now I got two more heaps to clean up. You smell like a pile of shit. It's gonna cost me a fuck ton of air freshener. All this blood's gonna cut into my goddamn fucking security deposit. What the fuck? This is bullshit. I shouldn't have to put up with all this shit. I'm the fucking boss now.
You're a fucking dumbass. I'm a fucking badass. Da 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 Just a minute. What do you think, fellas? Should we rob her? I think so. Just a fucking minute! God damn it. I'll do the right thing for once. There are incontrovertible laws of nature we have yet to explain. But with or without explanation, we know this. We can always count on gravity.